Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nilesh Anilgi and you're watching Techie Programmer. So today in this video, we are going to build a zoom bot. So what are the features of this zoom bot? This basically what it does is just takes the link and joins the meeting for you at the given or the mentioned time. So what actually we are going to do in this video. So basically what we are going to do is create a fake room and then try to analyze the problems that we face to join the class or the meeting. So once we understand uh, what are the difficulties, then we are going to solve this with the Python script. And if you do not know uh, how to work with Python, no worries, you can still use this bot because you will be following along with this tutorial. But the only thing that I want to be mentioning is how to install Python. So do make sure you check out this video if you have not yet installed the Python on your machine. So once you have installed Python on your machine, uh, the rest of the thing is we will try to go the manual way. We will rectify and understand the problems and then rectify it using a script. So further any delay, let's move on to the screen. Uh, first of all, let me just fire up my browser and here we have. And what I will be doing is I will be creating a temporary meeting on my mobile phone and we will be joining that here. So what I will do is I will just copy the link and paste it here and hit run. So here you can see it just gives me a pop up saying that allow the zoom zoom zoom. So what I will do is I will just click on this allow to use OK and then open zoom.us. So you can see that if we allow that notification it automatically triggers the software to open. So here you can see here we have another problem that is we need to join to audio so what we can do is automatically join here you can see you can just check mark this automatically join audio by computer when joining a meeting and <clears throat> then you can just join the computer okay that was echo so now what i'll do is uh now you, we saw that the mic was not muted so we will fix this problem in order to fix this problem what you need to do is just leave the meeting here and open the zoom meeting application here i have go to the settings here and in the audio the settings go to the audio and scroll down here you can see this uh, mute my mic when joining a meeting so make sure that you check mark this and this was the pop-up that we check mark automatically join the computer audio when joining a meeting so make sure these two are check marked then what you can do is just close close this now what we will do is just paste the link again and let's hit so here you can see the pop-up was disappeared and the app the zoom app is launching by itself and it is now connected okay so now uh, what we need to do is we need to just make sure we open our link on exact time given to us uh, and the rest of the thing should be handled because here you can see the mic is muted video is muted and you are connected to audio and there, there are no pop-ups so let's do it uh, let me just fire up my PyCharm okay so I have already written the code and this is my PyCharm IDE so here we have three imports one is the schedule library one is the web browser web browser we use to open the link in the browser and the schedule library we are going to use it for scheduling so here we have two definitions or the two functions okay one is the open link which uses web browser to open the link in the chrome browser and another we have uh, is this uh, we are just calling that with a link so what i will do is i will just paste my link here the current one and uh, here we have something called schedule every and today is Friday so let me make it as FRI okay and this should be in 24 hours format so you can just say it schedule every Friday at and here it's uh, 1242 right now so I will just make it as 1240 let us uh, just check it out okay so let me just make it 1245 and then do do what it just calls the meeting function here and this is the function to make sure you are in the loop uh, I mean you are connected to the 
midi so this is what the code is uh, this is pretty simple and i was thinking to make this code into a gui and that you can make using uh, what you can say tkinter so if you want this thing to be in a tkinter or a easy to use format like a software let me know and i will make sure i will drop another video regarding how you can create a gui for this particular stuff wherein you can enter the time in the scroll bar and you can just enter the link or user id and just set the times you can even set multiple meetings here uh, this is just an example for one and now i have started this script and it should uh, connect to the meeting exactly at 12:44 let me okay 12:45 uh, 45 okay 12:45 let's wait for a minute by the time we wait make sure you hit like and subscribe to this video and if you have any doubt make sure you comment below and if you have any idea would you like to that you would like to share you can just comment below and i will have a look at it now we can see the project has triggered itself and it is opening the link and it has bypassed the notifications and it is connected to the meeting so we can see that it's 12.45 here and it has connected exactly the time we have mentioned it to do so this is how it works and what you can do is just keep it running in the background you can schedule all the meetings at once and you can just leave it and that was it for this video if you have any suggestion make sure you comment below and if you like this video make sure you like share and subscribe until then take care and see you in the next video